Tick was my mate right there at KNUST, and we used to call him Kabila. I still call him Kabila. We haven't seen each other for so many years. Last time I saw him was at the airport when he was flying VIP, and I had gone to see somebody off. I don't envy him. He's worked very hard for whatever he has right now. Even when we were in school and we were busily going for lectures, he was torn between his political future and his schooling, going for meetings of the NPP and so on and so forth. Today, he's where he is. When Canada and Japan went to Bantama and sought to denigrate another MP by saying that Nima Miton Kokonte Kokonte Uraba. I said that no. Sometimes Canada Japan can be childish. Extremely childish. Look at your age, 60 plus. And you think that by denigrating somebody's mother's legal profession, you will make votes. Even a 20-year-old won't say things like that. With all respect to Canada Japan. Nobody is bigger than the truth. I love Canada Japan. But sometimes he can be so childish and infantile. You went to Bantama. And what you said to the people. And I have the type. So many Ghanaians saw it. Nima Miton Kokonte. Na ya dien. Na woman media oton dien. Gold and I said diamond. We all came from somewhere. Somebody's mother sells cocoa. Another person's mother sells yoro yoro and wasa wasa. As long as the mother is not stealing, as long as the mother is not in some illegal profession to be able to take care of whoever, it was so infantile for an MP who was seeking to be the president of this nation to talk like this. Do you think Okonte Seles and their children will vote for you if you want to be president? Is that how to get votes? And his brother was also tagging along. Look at how it ended for you. I am glad as Subwachi and the rest of them decided to do a Kokonte party. I don't eat Kokonte because I'm vegetarian. Kokonte goes with whatever it goes with. And I don't partake in that. But for the first time, I would have joined the party even if I didn't eat that kokonte. It's sad. Don't let us look down at people's professions. Like the other day, that guy, I will buy your radio station and I will, I will relegate you to the position where you belong. Such arrogance. Look at this talk. You have money, so you are what? You are God? You have money, so you are Angel Gabriel. No wonder Bob Marley told them straight away. He said, and I quote, Ah, this guy is so poor that all he has is money. <laughs>